What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this week's lesson, we take a look at a variety of ways we can approach writing a secondary guitar track. All right guys, we're gonna jump right into it. This week we're gonna take a chorus section and go over a couple of different ways you can develop melodic ideas over this section, okay? So I am in standard tuning. Um, the tabs will run across the screen as I go over these examples. You can also find the PDF and guitar profiles on my website and Patreon down in the description below, okay? So first things first, let's talk about the rhythm part that we're playing over, okay? And it's, it's real simple. It's two different chords. Essentially, it's a E minor chord and a B minor chord. And the chord voicings are these. So it's open E. 10, 12, 11, like a G major 7, and then open B, open E. Technically, we can think about that chord as an E minor 9 chord, okay? And then we're going to move to this B minor chord. And you should probably hear that those are very similar chords. And essentially, they're the same voicing, but with a different root note. The B is on the, on the bottom. So real simply, you can think about this as an E minor to a B minor chord. Okay, we are in 6-8. Let me play you the rhythm, and then we'll go over the ideas. Okay, that's our rhythm, okay? So let's listen to idea number one, which is going to be picking out chords under that riff. So let's hear how that sounds and then we'll talk about it. So the first thing, let's go over the little chords that I'm picking out. I'm essentially playing this little D minor chord in fifth position, moving it up, playing this sus sound, but it's really outlining a little B minor chord as well. And then we're going to move up here. Right there, again, a lot of sus kind of sounds like an A, a sus two here, kind of like this is an E sus two if you want to think about it like that. And then we have. 16, 15, 17, which is a B, D, and A, okay, that's a, a major 7, a B major 7. So it's these chords, and I'm just picking them out to the rhythm. I start on the E, and if you look at the tabs, you'll see the little intervals above them. Those are in relation to the chord they're going over, so it changes as the chord changes. So we have this, oh, sorry. Let these notes ring over the right. So I start on the five, and then I play that chord. Slide up to ten, which is the A, and then pull off to the seven. Moving in the twelfth position, same chord, and then to the B. Right, so that, that's our part. And I like that one a lot. Obviously, I repeat this twice. These ideas are meant to be simple and straightforward and kind of outline the harmony we're dealing with. So let's move on to example number two, which is more of a melodic lead line. Very simple, very open, and very chord, and hitting a lot of chord tones. So let's listen to that, and then we'll talk about it.
So with that idea, right, it, again, it's more of a lead line and I wanted to keep it very simple and straightforward, more of an accompaniment rather than soloing over all of these chords. What we're gonna do is we're gonna 15th position, bend up, typical little pull off idea, pull off the 12, 14, 12. And then we move in the 10th position, 10, 12, bend a step and a half. Okay, now if that bend is giving you a hard time, just play 15. Okay, now here we're gonna do a little half step bend. Again, because it's E minor now. And I let those ring out, the D and the E on the seven and five. Mimicking the motif. A, B, D. The next idea we're gonna look at is a more of a supporting secondary rhythm guitar type riff. Very simple, and we're just gonna play octaves. So here, again, very simplistic, I'm not playing a lot of notes, all right? I'm starting off right where the chord is, again, I'm supporting the chord, so I have this G. Slide up a whole step to the 12, down to 9. And 9 is the F sharp, again, in both chords, but again, a chord tone of the, the B minor chord, right? seven to 10 helps turn it around. And I'm gonna do that three times. And then the last time, I just put it, I just put an ending on it. You know, and you can almost think about it if you listen to the part of the song. And how you end it is gonna depend on where you're going in the song, all right? So that fourth time, I slide down to the E and I, essentially it's, a, it's E pentatonic. Right, and I just go back and forth. The last part is we're going to take that supporting idea, throw it up an octave, and make it more of an octave lead, right? So let's listen to that. So again, it's the same thing. We're starting up on the G, just up an octave in 12th position. And we're putting a little more activity in it, right? More strumming and a little more moving around. All right, so I, I add a couple notes there, come back, still land on the F sharp and mimicking the. Still mimicking that, right? So I do that twice. Set the third time we step down here. Again, it's mimicking the ideas, but we're just putting in a, some rhythmical fun too. And then O2, 7. Okay, you'll notice that again, these melodies are very similar to the melodic lead line that we did, right? I want to keep these ideas tied into each other because it can be difficult once you have an idea in your head to come up with different ideas over the same parts. It's tough to get the ideas out of your head. So it's good to kind of write and kind of create 
some similarity between your ideas, okay? And then the, the fourth turn of that octave, I just climb up. I started on the F sharp rather than the G. Again, it's a little melodic harmonic variation. We're, we're hitting a different chord tone and your ear is probably gonna pick up on that. And I just walk up, 11, 14, 17, I'm sorry, 19, 18. And that's the first time we hit C sharp in all of this, right? We'd be kind of very E minor, E pentatonic minor, but that C sharp is gonna bring out a, a Dorian flavor, okay? So there you go. Four different ex ways that we can explore writing secondary melodic guitar parts, okay? Like I said, PDF and Guitar Pro can be found on my website and Patreon. Those links are below. If you dig what's going on, please subscribe. We do a lot of this here. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.